guy is a YouTube genius, and today I'm going to be breaking down Nico Omolana's sneaking into KSI's boxing match in the ring. This video has over 11 million views, so let's see how to make a viral video. His knowledge, doing his first ring walk in years, live in front of millions. And somehow I managed to finesse my way into that bottle right there, even though I have a history of being banned from boxing events. I know this sounds crazy, but please just let me introduce myself. My name's Nick. So the opening of any YouTube video is the most important. You've clicked on this video because you've seen the title and the thumbnail and within the first 16 seconds, you know that you haven't been clickbaited. So you're more likely to watch the entire video. This video is over 25 minutes long. That's like an entire episode on TV. So Nick is going to have to use a lot of retention techniques to keep an audience engaged for the entire time. But within the first 16 seconds, he's given you a reason to stay. So it's been almost three years since you were last in a break. Why return now? Unfinished business. Stakes. Every He's time I try and sneak in a ring, I'd never reach the centre. I'd always get stuck in the ropes. So now he's giving you the stakes of the video. Why is it important that you want him, the main character of the video, to succeed in this quest? And it's because it's been three years and he's only ever been to like the outside of the ring. He's never stepped into the ring properly. So the stakes have now risen compared to his previous boxing videos. And as the audience, you want to know how he achieves it. Because he already told you at the start of the video that it happens, but you want to know the journey. This is very similar to the prequels in Star Wars. You know that Anakin becomes Darth Vader, but you watch it because you want to know the journey of how a boy can actually turn into Darth Vader. I watched too much Star Wars. I mean, I'm wearing a Star Wars t-shirt, so that probably gave it away. <laughs> Let me tell you a story about the Trojan horse. This is a story that about was an amazing where transition. Greek soldiers gave their enemies, the Trojans, a big wooden horse as a gift. But when the gift was... So now that he's moved into an animation, this is exposition for the video. We've all heard the story of the Trojan horse before, but Alfred Hitchcock said that exposition is best served in a sugar-coated pill. And this is what Nico's doing right now. He's not just telling us the story of the Trojan horse, but instead he's showing it to us in a quick but really well edited animation. The Trojan Prime. I'm gonna use Knowledge's Prime drink against him and give him a huge Prime mascot, which he will think is created by another YouTuber, when in reality the whole plan was created so I could get in the ring and ring walk with knowledge on fight. But so to tell a good story, you need a three act narrative. The setup, the confrontation and the resolution. Nico has completed act one, which is the setup within the first minute and a half. And that's really important because act two, the journey or the confrontation should take the longest part of this video. And then the resolution should be the happy ending. You know, everyone lives happily ever after. We're now moving on to act two, which will be the journey of how he makes this bottle and gets into the stadium. Which takes us to Oxford, where we were meeting Jake. Also, Nico uses traditional filmmaking, which is not something that you'd commonly think would be in a prank channel, because this is ultimately a prank channel on YouTube, but he uses professional filmmaking techniques and techniques used in movies to tell his story on YouTube. For example, wide shots are used to a change of scenery and to establish a new scene. And that's what he's done when he's going to Oxford now. Also, in his interview, he was positioned perfectly. He's used the rule of thirds and he has enough looking room and he also has enough headroom too. And I know talking about shots can seem really dull, but to make a really good video, you need to have really good filmmaking skills. We're used to seeing shots like this on the big screen, on the TVs, and he's putting this into a YouTube video. So if you are making your own YouTube video, then do try and follow traditional techniques, unless you're breaking the rules for stylistic purposes. This is Kaisha, a fellow YouTuber who makes elite content, and this I'm gonna make good. it look like he was the one who made the Prime mascot. I chose look him because he has the backstory. See, I reached out to him for this idea and this That was brilliant. Nico is the king of exposition because exposition is really boring, and this is a funny prank video. So he uses animation, and this is a different animation style to the one we saw with the Trojan horse. He kept it interesting, and it keeps us engaged to continue watching the story. Let me tell you. Hi, JJ. Now, I know you're probably wondering, what is this giant prime bottle? Complete side note, I saw this on TikTok and I completely fell for it. I had no clue that it was Nico behind it, so he's done really well to keep this under wraps before the boxing event happened. YouTubers were reacting to the video. I saw someone who had basically built a giant prime mascot. <laughs> Bert Rudventer! That person was me, and you have no idea. The, the video was right at the very top. 
He could have just paused the video, done a voiceover and then carried on, but he didn't. He made it interesting by pulling it out of the screen and then pushing it back in. This video will have taken hundreds of hours to get right. To go into this much detail, this is what separates it from the rest of the crowd and the reason why it is a viral video. If your focus is a really good story and amazing editing and retention techniques, then you're going to make a viral video like this. You know why you're here? No, but I'm seeing KSI on the screen. I'm not so sure why. Nah, he just made this video. Yeah, this guy made a giant prime mascot. Pretty cool, right? I think it's a good idea. It's good for um, KSI's brand and prime, prime yeah, drink. Yeah, smart way to get there. Yeah, 100%. Don't tell me that's what you're doing. Oh my god, I saw you. I already saw you in the video. I already that's amazing. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. He could have sat with us for two minutes and explained the whole thing to Kenny about what he's doing. But no, he skipped through that part and he let the emotion play out, the reaction, and we're rewarded. This is nine minutes into the video. We still have quite a while to go. So he's rewarding us for getting this far into the video with this emotion and one really good thing that Nico does and I think a lot of really good filmmakers do is they let the emotions play out. The information, the exposition, all of that was relatively fast but when it comes to the jokes, when it comes to the emotions, you let it linger, you, you savour the moment because the audience is savouring the moment. They're enjoying this reaction because they know this reaction is what everyone's going to be like when they find out. What started out as a completely unrealistic idea has step by step managed to happen to bring me to this moment. All the times I've been stuck in the ropes, kicked out of arenas and banned from events have all led to this. All the time, effort, sweat and shocks have all come together. This and is put me really right here good. He's waited until 21 minutes to do that montage of the reasoning, the, the importance as to why he's at this point. We're almost at the resolution and he's giving all those callbacks right now for us to appreciate the hard work and the effort that he's put in, not just in this video, but in the videos in the past of him trying to get into these events. And he's done this now instead of throughout the video, because if he constantly did it throughout the video, I don't think it would have had the same effect. Across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing black boots. Let's go! Yes! That's me! Right there! I showed my face on the screen! Oh my journey has so been. So it has paid off. It has paid off watching until this point. But we still have another two minutes. So act three has been relatively short. It's probably three minutes long in total. Act two was the longest part because the journey is the most important part. And now we're going to get a KSI's oh reaction. My God. <laughs> <laughs> it was me the whole time! What? The whole time! <laughs> He's letting the emotion play out. I got on your Reddit! Yo! <laughs> yeah. Well done, man. <laughs> what was I wondering why you weren't talking? Yeah. <laughs> So that clip, KSI's reaction, was the longest part of the video emotionally that was played out. So Kenny's emotion, whilst it was played out, it was a lot shorter than this. KSI's reaction, the one we've all been waiting for, was really well played out. It was the perfect length. We felt the emotion. We felt all the hard work pay off. Knowledge rounded up an incredible event. So he's keeping the sending relatively short because he's given us everything we've come here to see. It's rings. It's me taking this one home. Let's go. The real bad man. Ah, oh, bro. Fair play, nigga. You... And this right now is what Hayden Hillier Smith would say is the cherry on top moment right at the end of the video. And it's to reward people who have stayed the entire thing. We've seen the whole journey. Now we get to see a snippet of the aftermath of what happened after the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.